Will you just show up and make sure you're there? You can have family dinners that work. They don't have to be an hour long with the TV off and candles lit and looking at each other. How was your day? <laughs> Did you have a good day? How was your day? And then look, look at someone, and how was your day today? And you, did, did you have a good day? And you did your day, day, everybody, day, day. <laughs> Kaylin says, Kaylin's answer is the same every time. Dad, you know, my day was, it was like yesterday and <laughs> most other days that I'm at school. Not that exciting, but I got through it. Forget the hour family meeting. How about this? Just you be there and then just try to get everybody to the table. Just get them to the table. Come on, mom, am I helping you out? Just get everybody to the table. And just get them there. And here's what Karen and I, but forget an hour meeting. You know what we'll do? We'll ask one question. You know what our last question was? We asked, we said, hey, what, what would y'all like our family to do more of this summer? One question. Just be there. It's easy. Show up. Ken, what, what, what do you want our family to do more of this summer? You know, she gave her answers, a great answer. Uh, Annabelle, what do you want our family, you know, then I, simple. And you know what you'll find? We were hoping for like just five minutes. Get that? That whole conversation turned into a 30, 40 minute great conversation. I didn't go in there like, oh my gosh, we haven't had a family dinner in five days. Oh my gosh, pressure's on. It's got to be perfect. This has got to be quality. Okay, what's Kaylin struggling with? What's Stovey struggling with? What, let's, let's make sure let's have a long prayer. <laughs> Number one, I got to show up. <laughs> I got to be there. I'm going to be there. I'm going to get them to the table. I'm going to come up with one question. Come on, dads, we can do it. We can come up with one thing. Our, our next one was, uh, or another one we, we did was, uh, we asked our kids, what, makes, what, what do you think makes our family unique? What things do you, kinda, do you like about our family that you would say unique that you don't notice in other families? And if you have some challenges, if you have some negative things going on, just... Avoid those negative things. Say, hey, look, keep, keep it positive. <laughs> Just be there. Just be there. You know, watch this. When your kids, when your wife, when your spouse, whoever, when they think that the quantity of time that you spent with them is enough, to them, that is quality time. When they think that the quantity of time that you spend with them is enough, that translates to quality time no matter what it was. Now listen, I'm all for doing special things, you know, going on uh, vacations. If you can afford that, all those things are good. We need to do all those things, establish family traditions. But can I tell you the number one thing? that we've got to do, where all those other things will come out of, is be there. Quality time comes out of quantity time. And many times it's spontaneous. Many times it's God. We're always this whole quality time issue that's out there. Listen, let me help you out. Take the quality off of that. How many of you will be honest and sometimes that, that whole, you've heard quality time and you're like, well, is this quality? Is this what? And, it, and it, it, it can be confusing. Raise your hands. All, all of our locations. Okay, like one hand. Okay, so I don't know. If, no, I'm kidding. I understand sometimes is, sometimes are better than others. But here's the deal. Look, you, just, you shoot for the porterhouse. I promise you, you'll find some good quality pieces in there, in that big state. Can you give God a hand for that? Let me give you some. Listen, be there. Everybody say, be there. Let me give you three things right here. Three things just to help you be there. Hurry home. 
Come on, we can do that. If you, if, if you got a choice, always choose home. Hurry home. Secondly, show up. Just show up. Well, my mind's somewhere else. Well, bring your body where it needs to be. Just show up. What do you need to show up at this week? What for your kids do you need to show up to? Or your wife, where do you need to show up? Show up. And the third thing is be together. Be together. When, how, what kind of quality? Forget all that. Just be together as much as you can. Hurry home. Show up. Be together. Be there. Be there. It reminds me of a song that I was listening to this week. Now, some of you youngsters can't appreciate this song, but back in the day, the Jackson Five. This is going to be, remember that song? Jackson Five. You and I must make a path. That's a covenant with Jesus. We must bring salvation back. Acts 31, you and your household. Where there is love. That's spelled time. I'll be there. You'll be there. Just be there. That's what I'm telling Don't you today. You know, baby. Yeah, I'll be there. I'll be there. Just call my name. Can your family really do that and you fulfill this? I'll be there. Come on, will you be there for your family? That was my, that was my Mother's Day song to my wife, Carrie. Don't you know, baby, I'll be there. Just call my name, especially at dinner time, and I'll be there. Come on, can you give God a hand, huh? I'm going to close right now at all of our locations. Listen, listen. You're doing better than you think. You can do this. You can be there. I know our lives are hectic. I know our lives are crazy. But you can be there. You can be there for those people that you love. Fam versus wild. If we're going to be that cohesive fighting force, if we're going to come into that place of more than enough, we have enough Love, we have enough time with our family, all those kind of things. You've got to make the decision. You're going to be there as much as you can. And in the times you can't, the grace of God will make up the rest. Amen. Let's pray. Father, we come to you in Jesus' name. How many of you would just say, Stovall, I haven't been there as much as I could be. I don't want you to worry about quality time or anything like that. And you just say, Stovall, from this point forward, on this Mother's Day, I'm going to make that decision. I'm going to be there. I'm going to be there as much as I can. Moms, dads, everyone under the sound of my voice, if you need to do that, just slip a hand up to God right now. You're just saying, I'm going to be there. I'm going to be there. You can put your hands down. How many of you would say, Stovall, I'm away from God today, and I need a fresh start with Jesus. I need to commit or recommit my life to Jesus Christ, Acts 16, 31, believe on the Lord Jesus and you will be saved, you and your household. If you need a fresh start with God today, will you just slip up a hand as well, wherever you are under the sound of my voice, raise it high so I can see it. Yes, 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 several hands are up. All of our locations, you can do that as well. You can put those hands down. I'm going to lead you in a prayer right now. And if you raised your hand for any reason, I want you to repeat this prayer. I want you to mean it with all of your heart. And church, let's just all pray this together and let's help along those that are praying this prayer, some of them for the very first time. Say this, say, Lord Jesus, 
I surrender my life to you. I thank you for forgiving me of all of my sins. You are my Lord and you are my Savior. And God, for my family, I'm going to be there. I'm going to be there. And Lord, I thank you that my family is going to be a cohesive fighting force in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Come on, let's give God a hand. Be there.